Hello, my lovelies. I know I've been aw away for a while, but after the weekly forecasts, I completely lost my voice. Nothing at all. <laughs> no sound. And after about a week, this is, this is the best <laughs> that you're hearing now. So I don't want to wait any longer. I'm hoping if I just use my voice, it'll <clears throat> start coming back. But, um... Happy full moon in Pisces. I definitely wanted to put something up tonight. I feel like the energies have been really intense lately. And so I know I've been away. I want to give you guys something. We're going to do the card of the day a little bit differently in honor of this full moon. Um, we're going to do a pick a card. So the first deck here is the star tarot. The next deck here is the arcanum tarot. And then the, uh, what is this? I think this is the Illuminated Tarot. So I'm going to show you the decks here. And you all just kind of look and pick and see. So if you want to pause and take a moment and see which deck is calling to you. Um, and then I'm going to pick a card from each deck. The energies are intense right now, guys. We're going to be coming through massive changes as a, as a species of humankind over the next 9 to 10 months. And, of course, a lot of that is going to be in our own lives. So, card of the day, but also full moon energy, what may be in store for you, how many things may be uh, unfolding for you. So, deck one. Deck two. And deck three. So if you're having doubts at this moment, I'll put the cards right here. You can take another second here. Take a look. Pause if you need to. And then we're going to turn them over and see what we have. All right, so if you chose... Um, this deck here, the card and the message for you, ooh, in this full moon energy, oh, is the death card. Okay, guys, um, I was going to say one of the things I wanted to talk about in this um, energy that's coming up in the next few moon cycles, um, we, ha we had a, an eclipsed full moon in Scorpio several months ago. And now we're going to have, on October 25th, on my birthday, a, an, an eclipsed new moon in Scorpio. Um, so there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be revealed. Um, and so this is going to be on a global level. There's a lot of things that are going to come to the surface here uh, as far as secrets and things that have been hidden. Uh, there could be a lot of corruption coming to light. But also, if you chose this card, there may be a lot of that happening for you in your personal life. So if you feel as though you sense that there's some snakes in the grass, so to speak, but you just haven't been able to place it, or you haven't been able to pinpoint it, or you feel like there's something going on and like just people aren't telling you, like something maybe within your family. I know a lot of you have had some really... Um, complicated family situations and family secrets that you've been trying to uncover. Well, it's safe to say that these things are going to become uh, more clear and going to be revealed and come to the surface over the next few months. But in this current uh, moon cycle for you, as we're going from the full moon in Pisces to the new moon in Scorpio, there's going to be a lot of transformation for you. If you are a Scorpio, this is going to be a time in which you're really reinventing yourself, but really becoming more authentic and coming down to the core of who you are. Regardless of whether or not you have Scorpio placements, this is a time for you to emerge and to come out of like the old shell and the old expectations and the old... Um, obligations that you've been putting upon yourself or the things you've been pressured to do. Uh, the Scorpio is the phoenix rising of the zodiac. So 
very much phoenix rising from the ashes energy here. There's also going to be a lot of changes and a lot of epiphanies that you're going to have, a lot of awakening. I feel that for those of you uh, who, who uh, are drawn to this card. There may also be a big ancestral... Um, uh, ancestral push or um, a lot of help coming up for you from your ancestors who have passed on because you're going to do a lot of game changing here in your lineage. You're going to change a lot of patterns and cycles and break out of a lot of generational stuff. So I feel like a lot of you are going to have strong support from uh, your loved ones who have passed on, your family and the previous generations coming to help you uh, through the crossroads you're finding yourself at. Uh, the next card here is justice. And so we have uh, uh, Libra energy here. So coming into, uh, from what I understand, um, for Libra, because I'm Libra rising, so I've been looking at a lot of astrology videos in my downtime since I haven't been able to work. Um, I understand that the moon cycles and the way that uh, the Mercury retrograde is going to be moving and the way the planets are moving, there's going to be a lot of changes for Libra in like love life and um, in like career or finances. And so some of you might find yourself at crossroads or having to make decisions in these areas. You might be very affected uh, by uh, that Libra energy, maybe depending on your placements and the way that things are moving and shifting over the next few months. But this is a card of balancing the head and the heart. It's also a card of agreements and balance and fairness. So you may find yourself in situations where you're having to stand up for yourself. Um, or maybe you're even having to take things into uh, to the court to uphold your legal uh, rights about a situation. You know, maybe you feel like something is not fair, something is not ethical, and you're looking to the legal system to uphold your rights. Now, um, I'm not too strong on astrology so I'm not the right person to give astrology advice but I would encourage you to look up other astrologers that maybe you trust or that you think are good astrologers and hear what they have to say about um, uh, what's happening with Mercury um, uh, uh, with the Mercury retrograde um, and as it's moving through Mars uh, because I do recall hearing something that maybe until like after October would be a good time to bring about or maybe later in October would be a good time to bring about anything legal um, or legal cases because of uh, Mars. I'm sorry, I meant to say Mars. Uh, Mars maybe um, something is happening with Mars that may be intensifying like fighting, arguing, and so things may not go in our favor if we're picking a battle or if we're starting a battle during that time. Again, that's something you might want to look up. I'm not an astrologer. I read intuitively, and I just go by the feel of energy. But for those of you who are really, really about the astrology, you may want to look that up if you're looking to start anything in terms of a legal case. But generally, justice card can tell us that legal matters will be ruled in our favor. Um, and the justice card is about balancing the head and the heart. So we're a lot of us coming at big crossroads right now. And so if you chose this card, you may be struggling between, you know, do I want to make the logical decision or do I want to do what I keep hearing about following my dreams and, you know, listening to my heart. And you might feel like every time I listen to my logical side, I'm bored to tears, I'm unfulfilled. Every time I listen to my heart, I get burned. And the whole thing about this card is about bringing your mind and your heart together. You're going to listen to your heart. You're going to follow your heart 
but you're taking your mind with you. Like you're, you're, you're thinking about it. How can I set myself up for success? What are some good, solid steps that I can take? How can I set myself up to succeed in this situation? So it's about balancing the two. Some of you may come into contracts and agreements if you do have Libra placements. That's one thing I recall coming across as I was listening to astrology videos. Um, if you have like Libra rising or a strong Libra in your chart, you may be coming into new partnerships or business agreements. And this could be a good reminder for you to get things in writing. Okay, make sure that you have things in writing. Make sure that you uh, have things in place, that everything is clear. Um, because unfortunately, sometimes when we come into times of success or money comes into play, um, the ugliness can come out, the greed can come out. And all of a sudden, people are trying to claim things that aren't theirs or they're trying to deep reach, her, uh, reach deeper than they maybe have the right to. So it could be a good idea to have things in writing. But some of you may be coming into new partnerships or new agreements here in terms of business. This could also be marriage, right? Marriage contract. Uh, some of you, this could be prenuptial agreements. That seems to be a very dirty word on my channel. <laughs> that comes up and sometimes people get very angry about that. And I've said this and I've lost subscribers over it. I don't know. I mean, my whole thing is like if you're getting married for love and if you don't have any plans on leaving and this person is like feeling like, hey, I don't know if you're here for the right reason or I just want to be safe or, you know, like it would mean a lot to me if you would sign this prenup. Like I, if it were me, I would do it. You know, I don't think it's that big of a deal. And you can negotiate if there's anything in the prenup that you don't think is fair or something that you say, okay, fine, but at the same time, I want to be sure you're not leaving me high and dry. You can negotiate with this person. Um, but for some of you, there could be here some kind of situation with a prenup, marriage contract, business contract, uh, making big decisions, you know, finding yourself at significant crossroads. The next card that's coming up here for you all is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is wishes coming true. The thing that you're wishing for, the thing that you're hoping for, you're seeing it happen, you're seeing it manifest, you're seeing it take shape. And so this is a very happy and positive card. But for me in my readings, this card comes up with the message of like, look, there are going to be people that are going to see these good things happening for you and they're not going to be jumping up and down. They're not going to be happy, you know, some of them. Some of them are going to look at you with contempt or resentment because they don't realize how hard you've been working. They think you just got some big lucky break and it's not fair. And since things are going good for you um, and, and better for you than for them, they're coming to you like, well, you have to carry me, or you have to help me, or you have more than me, so you have to give to me. And it doesn't have to be financially. It can be about your time. I've told you guys this story before. When I was coming out of my dumpster fire of a life, and things started to go better for me, uh, I had a couple of close friends and there was one that was just, I mean, I was on the phone with her for hours and hours and hours, like texting me all day. I'd get home from work. She'd be, you know, talking to me on the phone. And I felt bad for her and I would try to cheer her up. And she'd be always like, well, I need you to pick me up or I just need to get out of the house. And I was constantly trying to help her feel better because it's like, I know what it's like. I know what it's like to be alone. I know what it's like not to have anybody. And then when I tried to put down boundaries and say, look, like I can't be on the phone till like four in the morning. I have to sleep. I have to go up to work. I can't, you know, like get together all the time. Like maybe we can get together on the weekends. I wasn't telling her I wasn't going to be there for her. I was just trying to put like a, a boundary on it. And she said no. 
she said you 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 have a happy life things are going good for you i'm unhappy i'm miserable you have to cheer me up you have to help me your life is better than mine you want to be cautious of people that have that kind of attitude towards you yes we want to be there for people yes when there are good things happening in our life it feels good if we can pay it forward if we can be generous to somebody else with our time or our money you know it feels good to help people but you have to have boundaries the message for me in my readings when the 9 of cups comes up spirit is about to put down this big banquet for you at your table and uh they know that there's people right now in your circle at the second it's laid down even though you're willing to share they're going to come in like locusts and they're just going to eat it all up and they're not going to leave you with anything and your angels and guides don't want to see that happen to you they um they want you to be able to um be in the energy of uh uh like protecting what you have coming in and being in control of what you're going to give and how much you're going to give and when you're going to give it so there's blessings coming your way but this is a time for you to work on having a healthy sense of entitlement in that you know that you deserve it you know that you've worked hard for it you know that you have a right to have these things and that you don't have to hand it over to anybody else that this is yours and you can be generous and you can share but you get to choose how and when you're going to do that so this is a time to start practicing having boundaries healthy boundaries cuz there's good things coming there's blessings coming uh i thank you guys for watching if you're waiting on a private reading from me i've already sent out emails and told you guys i had lost my voice i'm going to stay up and burn the midnight oil here and get those readings out and then hopefully i can get the weekly forecasts out um over the course of the day sunday i like to try to get them out a little bit earlier but <laughs> i i physically couldn't do it so i thank you guys for being patient i thank you for being here for me um i just want to say one more thing i'm not going to call you up by your channel name but if you are here watching this Kendra <laughs> you're still I'm seeing a lot of my stuff in your videos and um I would just like you to stop especially since you came out and put down tarot and said that tarot is demonic and now you're doing all this Christian stuff and like prophetic word just do the right thing do the right thing stop using my material and I don't know who else's material you're using but it's it it's not cool and it'll catch up with you sooner or later i'm not saying the name of your youtube channel i'm not sending my people after you i'm not doing any of that you have way more subscribers than i do way more views than i do just do the right thing cuz sooner or later it's going to come back and bite you in the ass anyway just use your own stuff i'm i'm sure i'm not the only person you're getting stuff from but i i watch you and i see sometimes you say things word for word from my videos or you title your video something word for word i said in my videos and i'm just asking you to stop especially since you've come out and said that tarot is satanic and now you're doing all this christian stuff don't steal from tarot channels that's all i'm saying thanks for watching guys i hope you all have a fabulous day Hope you have a fabulous full moon and um I'll be getting out the weekly forecasts. Take care. Bye.